Hello, my name is Latricia Baker and I am the supervisor of secondary science here in Duval County for Duval County Public Schools. I am here today to talk to you just a little bit about preparing your middle school student for the eighth grade science state assessment. So let's get started. So first of all, who takes this test? This test is taken by eighth grade students or seventh grade students that are in comp science to accelerate it. Those who are preparing to take a high school level science course when, once they get into the eighth grade. When is the test? Each school will choose their testing date, but the window is from May 3rd through May 18th. What should your student expect? The science statewide assessment is a paper-based assessment and it's going to be at your student's school. There are two 80-minute sessions that are both in the same day. This is important because the last time your student took a science assessment, it was in the fifth grade and there were two 80-minute sessions, but they were in two days. So this assessment is going to um, require more stamina of your student. Um, so it's very important that, that they get a good night's sleep the night before. There are 60 to 66 questions. Um, of those questions, if the student receives 66 questions, 10 of those will be field test questions. So normally there are at least 56 questions that are going to be um, graded for, for your student to get a score back. And then the other four to 10 will be what we call field test questions um, so that they can supplement new questions in the upcoming years. So there are are different levels or complexities to our questions. There are low complexity questions, moderate complexity questions, and high complexity questions. Most of the questions on the eighth grade statewide science assessment will live in the moderate range. Now, what does that mean? Low level questions are usually one step questions. Moderate questions are going to take at least two steps. And then high level questions are going to take three or more, more steps to answer the question. So again, your low level questions are gonna be recall questions. Um, for instance, which of the following is the mitochondria of the cell? Um, that's just a memorization. Then moderate would be to ask um, for a example, a cell, and it points to a structure. And then the question may ask, what's the function of that structure? So one, the student must identify what um, organelle that is and then explain what its function is. And then a high level question, again, is going to be three or more steps. So there may be a cell and the student may have to identify whether it's plant or animal, and then within that cell determine whether that organelle um, has a function that the student is knowledgeable of. So again, three levels, low, moderate, and high, it really refers to how many steps it takes for a student to answer that question. And most of the questions on the statewide science assessment are going to live in that moderate range. Some additional information for the statewide science assessment. Um, students are not permitted to have any electronic devices, even if the device is turned off and the student does not use them. There will be collection buckets where students will um, identify their electronic device where teachers will then package them individually and students can um, retrieve them after the assessment. Um, but it's important to note that if a student is caught in possession of an electronic device during the assessment, their test will be invalidated. Um, for science assessment, there will be um, a calculator supplied. It will be a four function calculator. And then um, there are there will also be a set of rules that your student has to agree to 
um, the teacher will read those rules and then the student has to sign the statement that says, I understand the testing rules that were just read to me. If I do not follow these rules, my test score may be invalidated. Um, so that's just important um, for you as the parent to understand, but also for your student to understand. So let's talk about the different categories. So there are four different categories for the statewide science assessment. The first category is nature of science. This is 19% of the test. This includes the practice of science, the characteristics of scientific knowledge, knowledge the role of theories, laws, hypotheses, and models. Um, so here's a sample question. Scientific knowledge may change as new evidence or information is discovered. Which of the following would not be a result of new scientific research and information? So the first thing to point out here is that every question that your student will see on the State, statewide science assessment in the eighth grade must have a prompt. So there must be something prior to the question, which is um, the sentence that ends in a question mark that gives the student information. Um, sometimes it's a one sentence like this. Sometimes it, it's much longer. So it's important that students um, are not fatigued on the day of the test because there is a lot of reading involved, although this is a science assessment. Um, it's also important to note that usually when they use words like not, you see here it's in all capital letters. That's the same way it's going to, going to be on the assessment um, so that students are aware that this question is, is asking the opposite of something. Um, and so you have your answer choices here. Um, the correct answer is D for this question. Um, it is perfectly fine for you to take these questions um, and put them in front of your students to help them prepare for this test. These questions are also available on the FLDOE site, and I'll talk more about that a little bit later. The second category for test questions um, is going to be Earth and Space. That is 27% of the assessment. The topics that are included under Earth and Space Science are Earth in Space and Time, Earth Structures, Earth Systems, and Patterns. So this is a different type of question because it has a diagram. Um, many of the questions on the eighth grade assessment will have diagrams. Usually the diagrams are going to help the student answer the question. There always must be um, a lead in to the diagram and then the question will follow. So here um, we have a question about the different spheres of the earth and the answer here is also D. So number four, um, it is, students will have to bubble in these answers on a bubble sheet because again, this is a written assessment um, for eighth grade. The next category is going to be physical science. Physical science is also 27% of the assessment. Um, the topics that are in this category include properties of matter, changes in matter, forms of energy, energy transfer and transformation, and forces and changes in motion. This particular question is another one with a diagram. Um, the student must decipher um, the answer based on the information that is given. Um, again, these questions can be found um, on the FLDOE site and they have additional questions, um, one for every uh, cluster of standards for this assessment. Our fourth and final category for the eighth grade science assessment is life science. And life science is also 27% test. Um, Topics or categories that are 
um, covered under life sciences are organization and development of living organisms, diversity and evolution of living organisms, heredity and reproduction, interdependence, matter and energy transformation. So we have another question here. This question also has a diagram. Again, many of the questions on the um, eighth grade statewide science assessment will have diagrams as a part of the question. Some resources to help your student prepare for this assessment um, is the McGraw-Hill Florida Science Comprehensive Course 3 edition of the textbook. This is the eighth grade textbook that your student uses in class. They also have access to its online version. Um, another resource is the PENDA learning platform. Students can get to this platform through their blended learning tab, and they know all about the blended learning tab, um, and it allows them to sign in to this platform. Uh, here, they will be able to work on practice questions. They will be able to um, learn information if they did not do well on it in class. There is a component where they actually learn the information um, and it has um, questions that are similar to the ones they'll see on the statewide science assessment. And lastly, the most important resource is their journal. Wherever the students take notes, some teachers um, have students take notes online and that's gonna be um, through their teams. Um, there'll be a OneNote available for students to look at their notes or if they have a traditional science notebook, that would be a great place for them to prepare for this assessment. So, Preparing your student to take this assessment. The first thing you definitely want to do is make sure that they use science resources to review their content. So either that textbook, that PENDA, um, or their um, interactive journals that they use in class. Um, another good thing is for them to practice using ESSA style questions, and that just stands for the statewide science assessment. Um, those questions can be found on FLDOE. Um, you can type in eighth grade Florida science item specifications, and they will have a PDF document that has roughly 20 or so questions that students can practice for the uh, assessment. And finally, there's a another site called BrainPop, where again, the concepts are covered for the students based on the standards. Um, and this can also be found in the students' blended learning tab. So that's the students are very familiar with blended learning. They know exactly where to go. And BrainPop is just another resource that you can use to prepare your students. It is, um, you can find more information about this assessment on the FLDOE site, and that's www.fldoe.org. Um, also, you can find more information about uh, testing dates and or additional district information at our district site, dcps.dubalschools.org. Um, here you can talk with Dean Duval, you can chat with anyone, um, and um, testing parameters, you can find those on accountability and assessment. Again, my name is Latricia Baker, and I am the supervisor of secondary science. If you have any additional questions, feel free to reach out to me at bakerl at duvalschools.org. That's B-A-K-E-R-L at duvalschools.org. Last but not least, parents, the most important thing you can do to help your student on the secondary science statewide assessment for the eighth grade 
is to make sure they get a good night's sleep before the assessment and a healthy breakfast on the day of. Thank you so much for watching this video and please reach out if you have any questions.